In this quick video, I will show you how to remove and replace the keyboard for any Lenovo Idol Pad 330. Lenovo Idol Pad 330. This is the keyboard. Some keys don't work. This is a common problem. This is the replacement keyboard that will be replaced with. So let's get started. What you need to do, turn the laptop on the other side, remove all these screws. Now you need a special tool like this. Tilt the laptop on the edge insert it and unclip it across and then it will come off with your finger so you take the casing off and this is how it looks like inside now this is what you need to do you need to unscrew these screws here so these two another two here unclip that remove it and then two screws here you need to remove and one here that's for the motherboard so three screws to remove the motherboard remove this and that and the wi-fi the hard drive and the battery and this one here, one screw. So the battery has four screws in total. Don't forget this one, all these, okay? So I want to recap. One, two, three. Three screws to remove the motherboard. Also, don't forget to remove these two from the motherboard. These two are the audio speaker and the CMOS battery. So once you remove the motherboard, it will look like this. This is the keyboard cover for the motherboard. This has to be removed. There's all black clips here that need to be removed. Okay, I've done it already. I just want to show you guys. On your one, it will be all black. You need to remove them with a flathead screwdriver something sharp and then with a tool like this you need to go on the edges and remove it and then this cover will lift up it takes time but it will lift up now this is the keyboard guys so this is your keyboard so what you need to do this is easy it just pulls out So once that's done, put your replacement keyboard in, align it just like this, and then vice versa. Just follow all the steps to put everything back in again. It's very easy, guys. What you can do, if it's a bit flimsy, you can add a bit of super glue to hold the keyboard in place. Once you put the keyboard cover back on, just on the edges, not the keyboard. 